Hey everybody, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I'm back and I'm wearing one of my Westchester Dolman tops. I have a bunch more here and we are going to do something a little bit different now that the video sew along for my Westchester Dolman top pattern is over. If you're new to my channel, maybe you like this top and you're wondering what I'm talking about, I just finished hosting a seven part free video series for my free PDF pattern download for this top for ladies. It's available in sizes small through 3XL. You can download the free PDF pattern and you also have the option of purchasing a hard copy pattern from our online shop that comes all printed, all the pieces come out on one sheet that measures four feet by three feet. So that's another option as well. I'll include links to all of that in the description box below the video right here on YouTube. Now what I wanted to do with this video is because all the videos are done, we've already received dozens and dozens of emails and pictures of tons of you out there that have already made your own Westchester Dolman top. So a big high five for everybody out there that has given it a try. I'm super proud of you and you should be very proud of yourself for giving stretch knit fabrics a try. And I know a lot of you have never tried your hand at making garments and you've already made a successful attempt at making your own t-shirt. So we are going to do something a little different in this video because I'm still getting a lot of questions about some other specifics. The seven videos do cover a ton of information. They're almost 20 minutes long each video lesson. I walk you through every single step on how to put the top together. Everything from fabric choices, tools we need, stitch, how to cut the pieces, all that stuff is already done and covered. So in this video, what I want to do is answer some of my most frequently asked questions that I'm getting about the Westchester Dolman top sewing pattern. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions that I'm still getting is people asking about the fabric content. They don't want to work with polyester spandex like I used in the video sew along. This is the top that we made in the sew along. It features this pretty floral and I used a double brushed polyester spandex fabric. The fiber content in this type of a fabric, if you've never felt it before, it's super soft. It feels, I mean, so soft on the outside and the same feeling is on the inside. That's what they mean by double brushed meaning both the exterior and the inside part of the fabric is brushed. So it feels super soft to the touch. And this is made up of 95% spa, uh, polyester, excuse me, and 5% spandex, okay? If you don't wanna wear any polyester at all, consider checking out some rayon blends. Some people seem to think that rayon is like polyester. It's really not. I live in hot muggy Florida and I love rayon. It is made originally from wood pulp. So it, it starts off as a natural fiber. However, in the way that they process it, it ends up becoming what a lot of people consider a synthetic. So it's kind of one of those fibers uh, or fabrics that we consider a semi-synthetic. But because it begins as a natural fiber originally, I find that it really does take on a lot of the natural fiber properties, like a cotton or a bamboo, right? It's really airy, breezy, and they're just a dream to wear and work with. So if you're thinking that rayon is polyester, it's definitely not, and you may want to give it a try. Rayon spandex, I will tell you, is not as easy to work with as the double brush polyester spandex because it is so lightweight and airy, it just is going to tend to go all over the place. The same way it's going to drape beautifully over your body, it's going to be moving all over the place when you're trying to work with it. So keep that in mind. Now, when we get to talking about cottons, this is pretty much what everybody wants to wear, cotton so that it, they can breathe, especially in the summertime. 100% cotton is not what you want to use to make this pattern in, okay? We have to have some type of spandex or lycra in the fabric. Spandex, lycra, elastane, it's all the same thing. They're just a matter of trademark names or generic names that we use. So if you see spandex, lycra, or elastane in the fiber content on the end of the bolt of the fabric you're purchasing, then you are probably headed in the right direction. I would recommend having a fabric if you're gonna go cotton, I'm gonna show you some examples of the cottons that will not work. And that's what I call like cotton interlock. You will see tons of this type of fabric everywhere. And you think, oh wow, it's 100% cotton. This is gonna be great because this is what I wanna wear. It's not gonna be a nice finish on this garment. Because it's a stretch knit, it's designed to fit somewhat fitted to the body. And what the 100% cotton fabric is gonna do, because it lacks that lycra or spandex in the bounce back when you stretch it, it gets stretched and it doesn't return to its shape. Do you see how that is like stretched out? This is the kind of fabric that when you put it on a hanger and you take it off, it just stays like the shoulder just stays like poked out like that. And so the same thing is going to happen at your shoulders, at the bust area. It's just not a good look. You always want to go for something that has some spandex in it 
to give you some bounce back. Here's another one, 100% cotton. They're great for using in other things, but for here, and you'll see that there's not much stretch along the lengthwise grain and then along the crosswise grain, you'll find that it will stretch, but if you stretch it, look what happens to it. It just stays stretched out. I don't want that. I want something that when I pull is gonna bounce back to its original shape, okay? So keep that in mind. If you do have the opportunity to purchase the fabric that you wanna use for your Westchester Dolman top in person and you have the chance to touch it, stretch it. If it stays rippled out, put it right back because you don't wanna use that one. Now one fabric that will work nicely is a ribbed knit. They often come like this it's not even an open yardage, you'll see that it's a tube. Okay? So a lot of times people will use something else for the body and use this because it has such good stretch and stretch return in the areas that you need the fabric to be brought in in the design of the top. So sleeve bands and neck bands. But you could also easily make the top using a ribbed knit. Okay, so keep that in mind. You see that when I pull it, it comes back? That's what you're going for. Regardless, really, of the fiber content, give it a stretch if you have a chance to touch it. If it doesn't come back, I don't care what it is, even if it says it has spandex in it. If it doesn't bounce back, you're not gonna wanna start off with that one, especially if you're a beginner. Now, say you have a bunch of cotton interlock in your stash. It's 100% cotton, and you'll often find it at the fabric stores in a ton of super cute novelty prints and everything. They're really popular for kids' clothes. However, if you find a print that you just absolutely have to have, Look at these cute little doggies with Santa hats and trees and, and snowflakes. This is probably the way that you're gonna wanna use it if you absolutely must use it for this type of a pattern. The fabric itself is going to just stretch out on you anyways, so you have to be mindful of using it for a more loose fitting silhouette. It's not gonna be fitted because wherever it has to stretch over curves, it's just gonna stay there, okay? It's not gonna hug the body like something like this would that has spandex in it. However, for the neckline, notice what I use, a totally different fabric. This is a double brush polyester spandex like this. Why? Because it has that minimum 5% spandex that I want for necklines and sleeve bands. This is a short, uh, short sleeve version of a different dolman top, but just I used it as a sample to show you. You don't have sleeve bands here. I just turned the fabric under and hemmed it. So it's gonna fit loose because there is no other fabric here with spandex to cinch in the arm. Okay, so that's fine. But the neckline has to have that minimum 5% spandex, at least in my experience and what I always recommend to my students for more successful results. Because if I use this same fabric for the neckline, I can guarantee you that neck band would be sticking up like this. Because there is no spandex for it to cinch the, the neckline in. If you watched video number seven, which is the last video in my Westchester Dolman top so long, you'll see that we calculate the strip of fabric to use in the neckband a little bit smaller than the full circumference of the neck because we pull the neckband as we stitch it on. Now imagine you cut a strip out of the cotton interlock and you stretched it as you went. What you would end up with is a completely stretched out neckband because again, it does not have that spandex, so it won't come back in and hug your neckline like a fabric that has spandex would. So just keep that in mind. If you absolutely have to use a knit fabric that has no spandex in it, use it for a more loose fitting size, okay? And then use still something that has 5% at least spandex for the neckline, or excuse me, the neck band and the sleeve bands here. So for those of you that have been asking for ways on how you can make the Westchester Dolman top using cottons or natural fibers, remember that you want some spandex in there. So if you find a cotton spandex blend or cotton lycra, remember it's the same thing. If it has at least four or 5% spandex, you should be good to go. But try and stay away from fabrics that say 100% cotton that don't have a good stretch return when you tug on them. Now some other things that we've been receiving a lot of emails and comments about are different ways that you can alter this pattern. So some of you are asking for a higher neck neckline because you want a little bit more modest neckline on yours. If you notice, the one that I'm wearing here does have a higher neckline because I hacked the pattern to make it that way. And so here I have a lot of other samples of different hacks or pattern alterations, we call them hacks, that you can make to this pattern to end up with totally different looking garments, okay? From a short sleeve version like this one, a super easy little tee. This is still my dolman top, the Westchester dolman top. You see we have no sleeve bands. We still have a nice stretchy double brush poly knit 
for the neckline, but I've changed the sleeves up to still make them fit at the bicep and make them just be short for a summer day here in Florida. And this fabric is a super drapey rayon jersey, okay? So that's one of the options. And so what we've done is we've put together a course of hacks that you will be able to sign up for to try your hand at making different changes to the pattern and end up with different looking tops, okay? So I'm just gonna give you kind of a brief overview of some of these. And then in the next video, I'm gonna be sharing with you more details and early bird sale price that you can sign up for. So you sign up for all the video courses I'm gonna cover and we'll talk about a few bonus lessons that you'll be able to sign up for in the hack pack as well. So here we have a simple one. This is a wool jersey blend. I still haven't attached the sleeve bands here, but I did a different neck binding uh, technique here instead of the one that I showed you how to do in the video so along. So you'll have a couple different options for finishing your neck band once you're done with the courses. A lot of you have asked for V-neck patterns. So I did two different ones and I'll be showing these again in the hack pack course. This is a higher V-neck for a more modest V-neck if you just like the shape of V but you don't want it to come so far down. Here's the one that I prefer. It has a more deep plunged uh, V-neck here. It's super flattering, I really like it. Looks great to wear with uh, different necklaces that hang. And so when we look at the V-neck here, you're not gonna be able to see it up close, but there are a few different techniques for creating V-necks. And the one that I show you in the hack pack is going to be the most professional looking one. There are no little threads sticking out at the top or anything like that. So if you're a V-neck kind of person, you definitely are gonna wanna stay tuned for more details on this hack pack. This is the one that we made in the video so long. So I just did everything basic the same way that the pattern tells you to do it as far as with the pattern pieces. Now here's an interesting one. I made this top completely on a serger. So this is something that I've been getting a lot of requests for as well. A lot of you that have a serger are requesting, hey, can you show us how to put it together on a serger? So we have decided to add in two bonus lessons, one on how to put the top together only using a serger, and then two, how to use your cover stitch machine to finish and hem the top. So those are just gonna be added bonuses. I know not everybody has sergers and cover stitch machines, and that's why I provided you with the seven free videos in the sew along, so that you can put the top together using only a basic sewing machine. So for the hack pack, if you do have a serger and a cover stitch, these courses are gonna come as added bonuses to you. And I think it's gonna be super helpful once you see how quick you can make this top using just your serger. And then these other ones you guys have seen me wear already in the previous videos of the sew along. I do have one here that I think is gonna be a super cool bonus to add. And this is a more dress slash tunic length of the same pattern. Super chic, I think it looks great in this animal print and it looks fabulous with leggings and some cute boots for the fall or winter and also for a cute dress to go out dancing. So I'm also gonna show you how to turn the Westchester Dolman top into the super cute tunic or dress. All right, so there you saw a couple of different hacks that will be included in the new hack pack that I will be releasing soon for the Westchester Dolman Top. Now, if you've never signed up for any of my online courses or clubs before, know that when you pay for any of my video courses or patterns, you also get access to them indefinitely. So don't feel like you need to be rushed and be able to finish all the different hacks in the time allotted for the course. You can really log in whenever you want to and just click and access the different video lessons so you can try your project or the new technique or skill whenever you want, okay? Now, if you like what you see and you're interested in the hack pack, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video when I post it because in the next one, I'm gonna be sharing with you the early bird sale price. It will only be open for a limited time and I will give you all the details as well as the full list of what will be included in the new hack pack for you. Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.